I hope it does actually dry clear because right now it is not looking clear. Is it weird that I feel like I'm cutting up a chicken? What was? No, my breathing tube! I'm going to make D&D &D dice with mops inside of them. I have a friend named Michael. Unfortunate for him, I'm going to make him a gift. For the longest time, we've called each other mop because of our bad hairstyles. So I have some polymer clay. I don't know which colors to pick. Oh, there's like two layers. Are these? These seem the same. I don't know if it'll fit back in its lunchbox container. I'm gonna have to take this off and make sure all of these things can fit. Wow, this clay is really hard to work with. My plan is to make really thin strings into looking like mops. I don't even know if you can see these very well. I have made eight mops when I only need seven. I'm going to have to bake these. I'm going to also make a dice bag. I'll link down below a video that I'm using as a reference and be a mop. It's a freaking mop. So I made some alterations to the dice bag. I lengthened the stem and then it opens down here. So it is like a bottomless pit. The dice will go in here just fine. We are in my garage. We are going to measure out the resin, pour it into this mold. We're not filling it all the way, filling it like partially because we don't want the mops to be completely at the bottom of resin. Okay, so this one says it cures in 48 hours. Um, I'm going to leave it for about a week for the, the final. I'm curious how the dice will get out of here without me like tearing this thing apart. I guess it's a, a problem for future me. Um, whoa! I don't know if this is overkill. Whoa, okay. What was? No, my breathing tube! I feel like I don't have to be wearing all this. I'm definitely not using all of this. And I'm going to use a heat gun to get rid of the bubbles. I cannot freaking see that well. Okay, I hope it does actually dry clear because right now it is not looking clear. Put the resin into the molds. This is so difficult. We need to open this, put our resin inside. I'm going to leave the lid off. No, I'm not. So I need to get rid of this. Okay, so this should be done in 48 hours. Okay, so a few days have passed and I it said 48 hours on the box, so so that's how long I'm waiting. These are the mops that are going inside the dice. Hopefully they'll all fit in there. Um, I'm, I'm hoping it'll work out. These gloves are freaking gigantic. I don't know whose hands are this size. Definitely not mine. There's definitely bubbles in there. Very large bubbles inside of that. I don't know if these are going to be weighted properly, but I got the mops inside. So we got to mix the resin again and then wait another 48 hours. So I dropped them inside of the molds. Then I'm going to put more resin on top and hopefully all goes well. Here we go again with the resin. I'm going to make as much as I did last time because I want it to be overflowing. One, two, three, four, five. Come on, you're not, you're not losing. No, I had seven. I had seven of them. Wow, that is a big bubble. Is that a bubble? Oh, I'm worried. I don't know where that last mop went. I found it. I found it. I don't think I need to take the safety precautions like I was before. This can be small enough to maneuver them a bit. Two parts A, one part B. Two parts A. So we gotta pour into these mold thingies. I'm gonna use my dominant hand. I feel like that would be helpful. So I saw online you have to overfill it. Now we have them encased in resin. This is not the most amazing um, resin job I've ever seen in my life. I'll come back. Okay, so a bunch of days have passed and I got really curious, so I want to just open it right now. But the resin didn't work. It 
did slightly, but definitely not like it was supposed to. I gotta fill this the rest of the way. Everything is inside here, but um, it definitely is not fully correct. So I'm gonna have to redo this. These are the tiny little resin shards that I took off of the, the things. Um, it was offset, so it has imprints of like little threes or um, this piece is kind of cool. It was where like the, the mold was supposed to lock in. We also have a 10. Can it, can it? See, there's a little 10 there. And, and like imprints, and it's really cool. Oh my gosh. Okay, it's been two days. I just took a shower. So it's time to open this and hope it turned out okay. And if it got messed up again, I gotta retry it again. It turned out okay. Um, this one has a gigantic hole in it. So maybe I can try to fill that in. Um, because they're mostly fine. It's just like itty bitty air holes that got stuck in there. I'm gonna try to get like the top layer that's on here off. Don't do this at home. It seems to be very dangerous. I'm gonna try to take these out of the mold. Also this food container, not, not able to be used anymore. Very much is a health concern. So I don't really know how to get these out of here. I could look at a video, which would be the logical way. Is it weird that I feel like I'm cutting up a chicken? Okay, please. This is difficult. Cool. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna take this out. It kind of takes a lot of convincing. Come on. Oh, it's so cool. It's so cool. Holy. Be holy mackerel. Come on, D10. You can do it. Or the D12, I think that's what you are. <laughs> this this is an epic moment in which um something I did turned out decent. Come on! I have made a D20. Made a dice set. I do have these smoothing things. It might lean towards specific numbers, but maybe I shouldn't have removed them because this one has a big hole in it. So three of them need like a little bit of help, but really that's not that bad. They're very crystal clear. Okay, so I gotta make the tiniest bit of resin. We are very familiar with this. I shouldn't have taken them out of the mold because I think I might have been able to salvage them if they did. At least a lot of them turned out okay. This does lean more towards 12, 15, and 18. And if you're curious, this is the other resin that's just been out in the garage. Um, it has not hardened at all. I don't know how to do this. All except three turned out okay. These dice look like they got chewed by a dog. I have finally made mop dice inside of a mop bag. So yes, these are mop D&D &D dice that I put inside of a mop crocheted bag. You may think I'm crazy and no one actually makes these kinds of things, but here we are. There's some yarn stuck to it, but we have a D&D &D dice set. I tried to make this another time um, I, I don't know if it recorded. I even made seven more mops and I put them inside of the dice. Then the, the resin didn't cure like at all. So I, I wasn't able to save those dice. These, these dice do have some holes in them. These three got messed up pretty badly and um, I wasn't able to save them. So I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you enjoyed seeing me make um, 
D&D dice for the first time. Um, I'm a complete noob and I messed it up basically. Um, four out of the seven turned out okay, so maybe that's a good ratio. Probably not. But I hope you enjoy the video and if you want to see more videos of me making dumb D&D dice, I may do that for you. And if you didn't like this video, well that sucks. Bye.